Good day everyone. Today we will have a session on college entrance exam review which you can use for your UCAT, ASET, DCAT, UST set, etc. or any college entrance exam. Please subscribe, click the notification bell, and like. This is Ophelia Orate, a principal owner of a school, a math teacher, and an author of 21 books. I graduated from the University of the Philippines way back. <laughs> Secret. Okay, let's start. Problem number one. What percent of 60 is 12? In this case, I do it like this. What is X? I just follow the statement. What is X percent? So percent of is times 60 is equals 12. Repeat. What percent of 60 is 12? And then isolate X percent. So you divide both sides by 60, there, cancel 60, you will be left with X percent equals 12 over 60. 60 is divisible by 12, so you might as well simplify this, 12 by 12 is 1, 60 divided by 12 is 5, so that is 1 fifth, and 1 fifth is 0.2, how did I know that? 1 divided by 5 is point, point zero. then 10 divided by 5 is 2, 2 times 5 is 10, there. No? So it's point 0.2, but this is x percent, therefore x is simply 20%. Move the decimal point two places to the right. So the answer is 20%, that is letter C. Problem number two, ah, before we proceed with problem number two, again, subscribe, click the notification bell, and like. What is log of x base 2 minus log of 3 base 2 equals 4? Uh, in this case, we have to uh, review the loss of exponents. There is a law which states that the log of x base b minus the log of y base b is simply equal to the log of x over y base b. So let's apply it here. So therefore, log of x base 2 minus log of 3 base 2 is simply equal to the log of x over 3 base 2 equals 4. And then, recall the definition of logarithm which states that the log of x base b equals y is simply equal to b exponent y is equal to x. Let's apply it here. So therefore here, applying the definition, we have 2 to the 4th is equal to x over 3. Then solve for x. Simplify 2 to the 4th, that would be 2 times 2, 4 times 2, 8 times 2, 16 equals x over 3. Solve for x. So multiply both sides by 3. To the left and to the right there you can cancel the 3 here so x is equal to 16 times 3 is 48 let me check that 16 times 3 6 times 3 is 18 carry 1 that is 48 so the answer is 48 letter C now let's move on to problem number 3 to divide 52 into two parts so that the smaller shall be one-fifth of the greater. How long is the greater? Okay, 
So, if let us say this is the thingy, we will divide this into two parts. So, let us say uh, the smaller is here, there, and the greater will be this portion. There, this is the greater. Mm. Then, it says here that the smaller shall be one-fifth of the greater. So, if we let the greater be x here, from here to here, that would be x. Then, the smaller will be one-fifth of the greater. So, it will be one-fifth x or x over 2. There, huh? How long is the greater? Oh, ito, this is what we're looking for. So, if we add the smaller, which is 1 fifth x, or x over 5, and the greater, which is x, we get a total of 54, isn't it? Remember, this whole thing at the start is 54. There, it says there to divide 52 into two parts. Hmm. So, x is understood to be 1x. Take note of that. Every x simply means 1x. So, now we're adding 1x plus 1 fifth x. That will be 1 and 1 fifth x equals 54. Now, it would be easier here if you uh, change 1 and 1 fifth, a mixed number, into an improper fraction. So, 1 and 1 fifth is 5 times 1 is 5 plus 1, 6 fifths. X is 54. And we know too well that if we have a, an expression like this, it is easier to solve for X by multiplying the reciprocal of 6 over 5, which is 5 over 6, to the left and to the right there of the equation. Now we can cancel 5 and 5, 6 and 6. We're left with x equals, this is understood to be 54 over 1. We can now cancel 54 divided by 6 is 9. Oh, is there anything which can be canceled here? Wala na. So 9 times 5 is 45. So x is 45. What is x there? It's the greater. So the greater part is 45 so the answer should be letter a next we move to problem number four what is the equation of the line which passes through three halves five thirds this this would mean this is the point three halves five thirds and which is parallel to the x-axis okay let me draw the x-axis if this is the x-axis, something that is parallel to the x-axis will also be a horizontal line, just like the x-axis. So, let us first uh, plot this point, 3 halves. We know that 3 halves is simply 1 and a half, right? Divided. 3 divided by 2 is 1, remainder 1. And 5 thirds, oh, sige, let's go back to basic. 5 thirds is 5 divided by 3, that's 1, times 3 is 3, 5 minus 3 is 2. So, 5 thirds is simply 1 and 2 over 3. 1 and 2 thirds, there, 1 and 2 thirds. Hmm. Let us plot this. X is 3 halves. Or one and a half this is one let's say this is two one and a half will be somewhere here there that's three halves then y is one and two thirds let's say this is y one this is y is two oh, let's assume that one and two thirds will be here so your point three halves or one and a half and five thirds one and two thirds will be here now, the line that we're looking for is parallel to the x-axis. So this is the x-axis. If it is parallel, then our line must be this. There. Okay? 
the red one. And we would like to find the equation of that line. Remember, line, the equation of a line equals y equals mx plus b. Since our line is now parallel to the x-axis or a horizontal line, we know that the slope of any horizontal line is zero. So this will make everything here, mx, zero times x is just zero, plus b. b is the y-intercept, and it passes through here. So therefore, the y-value is 5 thirds there. So therefore, you have y equals 5 thirds. Now, let's take a look at the choices. But there is no y equals 5 thirds here. So therefore, all you have to do is to simplify this equation, y equals 5 thirds. Multiply this by 3 to the left and 3 to the right. It becomes 3y equals 5. But wait, there is no 3y equals 5, but there is 3y minus 5 equals 0. How did I get minus 5? Transpose this to the other side. When you transpose this to the other side, you have 3y minus 5 equals 0. Do we have 3y minus 5 equals 0 in the choices? Yes, we do. Letter B. There. That makes our answer there. Letter B. Problem number 5. What is the value of K so that the line containing 3, negative 2, 4K will be perpendicular to negative 3X plus Y plus 8? You have to remember here that if two lines are perpendicular, let's say if line 1 is perpendicular to line 2, then the slopes are negative reciprocals. I'm writing it here so that you can understand easily. Uh, the slopes are negative reciprocals. For example, if the slope of line 1 is equal to negative 2 thirds, then the slope of line 2 must be 3 halves, the negative reciprocal of negative 2 thirds. Okay? There. Okay? So, let's go back to the problem. It will be perpendicular to this. So therefore, uh, we have to find first the slope of negative 3x plus y equals 8. How do we do that really fast? Transpose negative 3x to the other side. You will have 3x plus 8. Now, it is of the form y equals mx plus b there so we know that your m is equal to 3 hmm? so the m or the slope is equal to 3 but wait the line that we are looking for here is perpendicular to this given line therefore the slope of the line that we're looking for must be the negative reciprocal of 3 which is negative one-third. Remember, three is simply three over one. So, the negative reciprocal is negative one-third. Therefore, th therefore, we can now equate this to the slope of the given line. Oh. Let us recall again the formula for the slope, which is y sub two, minus y sub 1 all over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. There. In other words, oh, let me just make it clear, huh? 3, negative 2, and 4k are the two points of the line. So this can be your x sub 1, this is now your y sub 1, this is your x sub 2, and this is your y sub 2. Let's substitute the values here. So we have their negative one-third equals y sub 2 is k minus y sub 1 
minus negative 2 over x sub 2 is 4 minus x sub 1. Repeat y sub 2 minus y sub 1 all over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. There. So 4 minus 3 is 1. So we have here negative 1 third equals k plus 2 over 1. We can now cross multiply this. So this is now 3 times the quantity k plus 2 equals cross multiply negative 1. Simplify. 3 times k is 3k plus 3 times 2 is 6 equals negative 1. Okay. Then, oh, we can transpose 6 again. So negative 1 minus 6. Simplify, so 3k equals negative 1 minus 6 or negative 1 plus negative 6. That's the meaning of that. That's negative 7. So divide by 3, right? Because we are solving for k. So you can cancel this. k is equal to negative 7 over 3. There, or negative 7 thirds. Let's take a look at the choices. We have it here, letter A. The answer is letter A. That's it. I hope I was of help to you. Always remember to add kindness, subtract judgment, multiply understanding equals Mrs. O's good life equation. Subscribe. Bye. Thank you.